एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू सेट्स आर्ट आई एम बैक विद अनदर आइसोमेट्री वीडियो यूजिंग इंस्केप इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड हाउ टू यूज एक्सोनोमेट्रिक ग्रिड्स टू मेक सिंपल इलिस्ट्रेशंस बट दैट मेथड इज डेफिनेटली नॉट वेरी यूजफुल एज इट ओनली अप्लाइज टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स विद स्ट्रेट लाइन्स एंड कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट्स हैविंग कर्व लाइन्स ऑन इट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू मोर पावरफुल मैथड कॉल्ड एस एस आर which can be used for literally making any kind of isometric illustrations so without wasting more time let's dive right into it so if you have seen my introduction video on isometry you know that any object in isometric plane has three sides or three planes which is left plane right plane and top plane so let's see how to apply ssr to make a cube okay and we are not going to use any exonometric grids in this video So let's start with the left plane. The first step in SSR is scale. So no matter what object you have, you have to scale its height by eighty six point six zero two percent. Now why this number? I have no idea, but this is how you have to do it. So the way to do that is go select your object, go to objects, and click on transform. then go to the scale tab and click uh, and type 86.602 in for the height and click apply now you can see height is reduced now next step is shear now shear can be done in two ways so for left plane i will show you the one way and for the right plane i will show you the another way so the first way to do that is click on your object twice and you will see this horizontal arrow at the top now you have to press control key on the keyboard and shear this object in the direct left direction by two steps which makes it 30 degree so i will click on this arrow my control key is pressed and i will go to the left in two steps one and two Now next step is you have to rotate this object clockwise and again by 30 degree so I'll press control key on the keyboard and rotate it in the right direction in two steps 1 and 2 so here we have our left plane so let's repeat the process for right plane so the first thing is scale and its height is reduced Now next step uh, is shear, but this time I won't use the arrows. I will directly go here, skew, and type minus thirty degree because in Inkscape uh, clockwise is minus, so minus thirty degree and apply. Now I have skewed it in the right direction. Next step is rotate. so i will rotate it in anti clockwise direction so it would be 30 and click apply so here we have our right plane so if you have noticed one thing in case of left plane we skew the object in the left and then rotate in the right and in the right plane we skew the object to the right and then rotate in the left in case of top plane the only difference that's going to be is that whatever direction you use for skewing your object you have to use the same uh, direction for the rotation so we can do this in two ways so i'm just going to scale this object first and i'll press control d and duplicate this so let's first skew this in the left direction which is going to be positive 30 and then i'm going to rotate in the same direction which is again going to be 30 and here we have our top plane and we can do the same in the right direction so minus 30 followed by minus 30 again so here we have all our planes created so let's just combine them and our cube is ready so you can see that using this method you can convert any kind of shape like even if it's circular shape 
into one of these three planes and there you will have your isometry drawing ready. So if you like this method, here is one challenge for you. Apply whatever you learned in this video and show me how you create this three cylinders. So this is the left plane, this is the top plane view and this is the right plane. And I will post in next video how to do that. Until then, try your best and see you in the next video. Have a good day.